Hey everybody! Um, so we are going to be painting the bamboo zen thing today. Um, yeah, my new curly hair. I um, haven't painted on canvas for a long time. It's been sketch paper, but I'm home now, so I'm going to flip you around so you guys can watch this. Uh, I think this is the right direction. So I'm sticking my little holder up here. There we go. Okay, we're all clipped in. Ready to go, hopefully. And there we are. Okay. So, why does that look sideways? Looks right to me now, but hopefully it's going to be the right way. So, the colors we're going to use today are either you got some shades of green. If not, sorry, this is an old palette. I did it. You're going to need yellow and blue to make green and some white and some black and that's it for the colors brushes you're going to use this brush sort of a flat one possibly a pointy one sometimes i use like a medium a medium flat one i might just stick to these two today so let's start off by getting our whole entire canvas even if you have if you're working on paper go ahead and work on paper we get it a little bit damp with some water or you can just water your paint down when you're doing it it's up to you it depends on what kind of paint you're using if you're using crafters paint then you don't need to use that i just sort of sorry i stopped there for a second i just had kind of a fear moment that i forgot to turn the video on oh. okay so this canvas is not absorbing the water very well so i'm just gonna I want it damp, but I don't want it to be puddling up on there. So this will get it all of my canvas. And then it's going to absorb in those fibers. So I'm going to make myself a shade of green. Um, I want it to be half sort of a limey green and then a little bit darker over here. So taking, hmm, yeah. Okay, um, I'm going to bring it and put it in this old one here. Pretend that yours is clean. I'll take a little bit of blue. Blue's really strong, so be careful how much blue you stick in there. And the more yellow you have, the limier it's going to stay. If you add more blue, then it's going to be sort of a dark teal color. So there we go. Got a nice lime green color there. I like it. Still going to add water to this, though. So take some water. Throw a few drops in there, water it down, mix it up a little. There we go. So say it's like about halfway. And then it's just going to be like, it doesn't have to be a straight line or anything. It's just going to be halfway. It's going to be light and the other half is going to be a little bit darker. doesn't matter how you get this on. You can go in circles. You can get some color on there and then just use your hands after. It does not matter. Just get it on. Just get it on. So there we go. I've got a lot of paint on there. I have not painted on the canvas in five months. <clears throat> okay, there it's on. Maybe you can throw a li actually a little bit more with that. And then I want to make it a little bit darker. So I'm going to put just a touch of blue back into that. And I'm going to take a touch of black, just, just a tiny little bit of black. That's going to make it a little bit darker. I'm getting paint all over my clothes. Put that down so you guys can see. It's going to make it a little bit darker green. A little bit darker. There you go. You can see it. Again, does not have to be neat on here. Let's get it on. I may have to desert you for a second and go blow dry this because I have a lot of paint on here. But let's get this first card done. Okay, then once you've got those two colors on there, wipe your brush off in the water. Don't really need that. I am going to roll up my sleeves. <clears throat> Excuse me, and I'm going to go in with my hand. So I'm going to start with a light because I don't really want all those lines on there. I want it to be kind of smooth. And then I'm going to go right to the center because I don't want a line. 
I'm going to make that a bit smooth as well. So straight up and down. There we go. Put my hands together. Just going to get that smoothed out a little bit. Just don't want to have a whole, a whole lot of, um, what was I going to say? You don't want to see that line right there. And the reason why you can see my fingertips in this is because it's way too wet. I keep rubbing my hands because I don't want to drag too much dark over into this light. But so there we go. I'm going to just wave this around over to the side for a second because I don't want to go blow dry it. It's super dry. But get it a little bit drier if you, you're seeing fingerprint lines like mine. Just wave it around, get it a little bit drier so that when you go to blend it, you're actually getting rid of those fingerprint marks. Let's see what that does now. No, it's still pretty wet, but that's kind of good because I want to take, my brush has been cleaned off in the water. I want to take some white and right where the water is going to kind of be, I am going to take some white and it's good that it's a little bit damp so that um, I can blend that out. So depending on where your water is going to be, see my water is going to be there. I'm going to throw quite a bit of white on there. Same thing. I'm going to just make sort of a, a cloud of white. So it's going to look kind of like a mist. I'm just going to use my fingers to get some more white. The weight on my fingers. I just want that to be a little bit of a, a mist of white. A bit more white. I'll just paint off my hands. Don't want to see the fingerprints in there. But I don't care about texture. I don't mind texture at all. So this here, this white part, that's a mist over the water. So we're going to bamboo there and we'll have some rocks. And then this is going to be the water down here. I'm not even going to worry about the rest of that. But I sure don't like to have sticky, painty fingers. So I'm going to go to my medium brush. Where did I put that? This medium brush. And I'm going to make some black rocks. Um, so starting with a bigger one, I'm going to go ovalish like this. And it's okay that it's not uh, showing up. Like that it's not going all black. It's fine. we can go over that again. Next rock's going to go on top part way through. See how it cut kind of part way went part way through. You can see the line there. Again it's ovally. They're going to go, it depends on how high you want to pile them. You can do one, two, three rocks. I kind of like odd numbers. So they can be a bigger pile if you decide you want another one at the bottom. Then go a little one at the bottom. I'm going to go this many rocks. One, two, three, four. Ooh, that's not a very good number. We like odd. But I like that. I like the way that looks. That is going to dry, you guys, a little bit here while I'm doing the bamboo, which is good. Um, because then it's going to um, give us a chance to go over top of it again. I think I want my bigger. I want my rocks to be bigger. So I'm just going to extend on both sides all the way around. Nice big rock. Make the second one bigger. Never just stick. If you don't think it's right, make it bigger. Three. And 
four. I might even add like a little white orchid or something in here. I don't know yet. Let's let this dry and see how it see how it feels to me. But while well, you got some paint on your brush, so right where this touches the water. Keep it a little backwards zigzaggy, getting a little narrower as it goes away. There you go. That's all you need for the water for now. We'll let that dry. Bamboo. Um, we've got to go back to our green. So what color green are we going to go with here? Let's add a little bit of white to this green. So I had some leftover white here. Throw it in there. And more yellow. needs to be a different color than um, than your background. You might even have to add some brown to it. I don't know. Yeah, maybe, maybe. Let's put some brown in that. See what happens with that. So we'll use a raw umber brown. Instead of using the black, I'm going to throw some brown in and see what happens. But there already is a little bit of black in there. Let's just drop and put it to the side. Okay. So I wonder what that's going to do. There we go. We've got a different color green. All together, it's darker. So I'm gonna do. I'm gonna start from this side here, and I'm gonna do the lines down. Don't like that color at all. Really don't like that color. But I gotta do one. But I gotta do one anyway. There you go. There's one. Put some more blue in that, maybe. And try another one. It's a different color yet. It's pretty bluey. Let's try putting yellow in, see what happens. Put more yellow in that mixture, just because I have it. So we've got three. So let's, they've, they're all a little bit different, these colors. Do I want them all to be different? I don't know. We'll try that. So they're different um, heights here. I'm going to add some white along the bottom too so that it looks like it's gone into the mist. Yes. Okay. Taking my brown line, I'm going to start here. Take a brown line. Maybe there's a brown line here. So these are just like the bamboo breaks. You know how they have little bamboo breaks. Mm, I think so. What I'm going to do is that many. Now what I want to do is I want to bow this just slightly and then come and bow this again. So right in here, we're going to make those bowing marks. And then I guess we'll go back to the brown. See how the brown extends just a little bit? So I'm going to extend this brown slightly. Wipe my brush off, go back to this, and bow it. Maybe I'm going to add some white here. Just white on my brush. Put a white and then just do the edges. Give them little curves. Okay. 
it's always curving on the one to the to the right I guess I think you guys can see the right it's to my right anyways but there's always this curve so if you start this way and work your way over you don't have to do both sides because this one's in front of the other one same with this one this one's in front this one's in front this one's in front and that one's in front so that's how the bamboo gets seen wipe this all off and I'm going to blend it a little I almost feel like this should have been limey greenier how's this stuff See, it's still drying up here. And the water's still drying down there. I really don't like my color of green. Just take some regular yellow. Just mixing a little bit of green and I'm gonna try to change the color up a little bit. So making it a little bit limey or green like this one. Going in between. And then one thing I'm going to do right where these breaks are, let's get a smaller brush, right where this break is here. I'm just going to kind of mess that up a little bit, just so it doesn't really look like a line, but it looks like it's kind of grown. So sort of scratch it a little bit. Water's in the way. Quite like that. All right, so for here, I'm going to have some darker green coming down there. So I'm adding some black to some green so that it's dark. Note to self, don't stick any white in it because it makes it really kind of grayish. I'm not happy with that. And then there's some brown. Throw some brown in that green. Up to you, whatever cho choice you have of green. So, but go underneath this little break and give it a little bit of a shadow just on the one side of each break, sort of like a rounded triangle shape. I wish I had a demo here to look at. Going out of my memory in my head. So I don't think this is a good idea to go dark, do this dark bit here. I'm going to try it just to see. You can take this part or not. Just wanted to see what it would look like. Not bad. So I'm just putting the dark over it a little. And again, there's me making my paintings all messy again. Because that's what I do. I make messy paintings. I like it. I like messy paintings. Weird. Weird as that is. Uh, wash that brush off. I'm just going to throw in some more green in here. Just to... It's just my regular messed up green color that I started with. Just to keep it messy and not a solid color. I don't like solid anything. And you can do this with just yellow. 
making it really green. But I kind of like that. Wash this off so that my pointy brush doesn't really have anything on. I'm going to roll it in some white. I'm just going to throw a little bit of white in these lines. So it kind of looks like it has a, a little break in it. Not straight line, but um, it's kind of messed up. Bad. Bring some black. I'm gonna bring um, maybe from here. Let's let's. I don't I don't know if the demo had this, but I'm gonna bring a line that comes from one of the breaks. With my pointy brush. Maybe this one's going to go up. Come on. It's hard to paint on wet paint. That's what I'm finding. Now, I um, probably should do my bamboo leaves in, um, in dark green, but I'm going to do them with this. So the bamboo leaves are kind of long like this. I want to keep that stem above it. kind of looks like a dragonfly. Long, long leaves though. Paint over those black too in a minute. They could have three. Cross it over that one. That looks good. Looks a little more 3D when you do it that way. 